Hello, dear friends. We're going to meet again. Today, I am back in your house on your screen. And I want to keep this tradition of visiting you three, four minutes a day or a week or whatever you like and sharing some stories with you about Jesus and about church and about the other things. So you remember when I was talking about Palm Sunday that I said the children loved Jesus and when he came to Jerusalem, they were so happy, they were shouting in joy and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, the Lord is coming, right? Like angels. Remember when he was born, the angels were doing that, saying, uh, Hosanna in the highest and peace on earth. So Jesus comes to bring peace, calm and peace, so that we are so happy. So remember, the next time we met, I talked to you about joy. Well, sometimes people think joy is about being crazy and doing crazy things and jumping up and down and shouting and stuff. But joy, when it comes with peace, it's such a beautiful thing. It makes us happy inside. So there's two kinds of happiness. Happiness and outside happiness, and there is internal happiness. What is internal? That's a big word, right? It's the happiness that we he feel inside of our heart, inside of our soul, inside of our mind. But we are calm and peaceful, and we sit sometimes, and we just enjoy that peaceful time and we have joy. So enjoying comes from, I think, from the word joy. So being in joy is what makes things enjoyable, okay? So I want you to be in joy, but I also want you to be in peace. The peace and joy go together, that's the best thing that happens. So nowadays that you are home and you don't go anywhere, you may get a little startled, which is the opposite of joy. Feel a little anxious, be a little bit upset, maybe a little bored, and you want to do the thing that you used to do. Go visit your friends, go play soccer outside and all this stuff, or play basketball, baseball, whatever, whatever you did. Go swimming but you can't do those things anymore. So those things may bring some a little discomfort to our hearts. And I said about joy, but I want you to also have peace. How can you have peace in your heart when things are so bad? Well, things aren't too, too bad. It's just that we have to stay home and we have to do our classes online. We need to, we do have to talk with our friends on on the phone or on Zoom or on Skype or some other ways. And it will be over soon. It won't last forever. So what you have to do is know that the peace is very important so that we can go through this kind of boring, difficult time together. And the best way to have peace is invite Jesus into your heart because he loves children. Do you see this beautiful icon that the parents donated to the church? And that has all kinds of children in it. And Jesus is sitting right in the middle. So he loves being with children. He loves being with you. And that's why he has invited all the children. And the parents bring the children to Jesus because he makes them happy, and he gives them peace. So what do you have to do to be peaceful? Is you have to, now you have to invite Jesus into your heart. And you can say some little prayer. When you feel anxious, or you feel like, oh, I don't have anything to do, you can make your sign of the cross. You can say in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. And then you can pick up some chore to do. You can go to the kitchen and ask mommy, how to can help, or daddy, how can you help them? 
you can maybe do some classes, extra classes. You can find an interesting book and read it. The most interesting book you know is the Bible. I love the Bible. I read it when I am anxious. I open the Psalms and I read it. And sometimes I even have audio books of the Bible. I listen to them as an audio. So that's one thing you can do. And invite Jesus through your eyes when you read the Bible, to your heart, through your ears when you hear the beautiful words of the gospel or the Psalms or other things. But what you also can do is, especially on Sundays, you can log in to our website and you can listen to the liturgy that is the celebration of the kingdom of God. If you want to come and participate, be with the king, come on, be with us. Thank you. May God bless you.